Hey guys, my name is Pixie, and today we're going to use the Rewarded Video component from Appy Builder's Gold Membership. Rewarded videos are typically a way to do something nice for your users. Let's say a user wants to buy an item from the in-game cash shop, but they're 5 gems short. And let's say that 100 gems cost $10, but the user doesn't want to spend that $10 because they don't need the extra 95 gems. So the user can watch an advertisement video and get those 5 gems for free. First, we'll need to log into or create a Google AdMob account. If you watched the previous video using the AdMob component to create a banner ad, then you should be a little more familiar with AdMob. Click on Apps from the left side navigation menu. If this is your first time using AdMob, click on Add App. You can also select an existing app that you've previously created. I'm going to stick with the Pixie Bomb app. Once inside the overview, click on Add Units. From this screen, I can make changes to the banner ad I created, but I'm just going to create another ad unit for this project. In the ad format, we're given four options. This video will focus on the reward video format, and the other options will be covered in separate videos. The reward settings allows us to set an amount and an item name for the reward that the user will receive after watching the video. So let's say the reward amount is 100 coins. AdMob isn't going to magically give the user 100 coins because AdMob doesn't have access to your syntax. Physically giving the user 100 coins is something you have to program. Instead, we use the reward amount and the reward item as variables. Next, we have an option to override reward settings from third-party ad networks when using AdMob mediation. If you back out of this ad creation, you'll notice a mediation menu in the left side navigation. As the title states, you can manage all of your ad networks in one place. I'm only using AdMob, so I'll keep this option checked. And if I were using another advertising company, I would then uncheck this option if I wanted that other company to control the reward settings. Now let's think about the frequency. It's always good practice to reward your users for using your app, and you want to be able to give them free stuff, but your company, even if that's just you, needs to generate income so you can keep providing this service. I would recommend putting a cap on the amount of videos your users see, and it should correspond to the cost of items and the amount of free stuff they're getting. Let's say they can only view one video per day because they're getting 100 coins for free, and let's say the cheapest item costs 1,000 coins, and 1,000 coins is the equivalent of $10. So it would take them 10 days to get something cheap for free. Lastly, I'm going to give this ad a name and hit Save. The implementation instructions guide you through the process of using this reward video in your Android app. The great thing about Appy Builder is that all of this work is already done for you. All you need is the ad unit ID. I'm going to copy and paste this ID into Notepad and select Done. If you lose the Add ID, you can find it again in the Add Units menu within your app and hit the Add Unit ID icon, which will automatically copy the ID into your clipboard. So we're all done with AdMob, we can now open up Appy Builder and start on the design view. Drag a rewarded video component onto the viewing window. Make sure this ad is enabled and paste your Add Unit ID into the Properties window. So we've got a fun background on the screen and you'll notice I've created a coin bar similar to something you might see in a game. This coin bar is going to represent the amount of coins that the user currently has. You can see here, all I've done is put this coin bar image into a horizontal arrangement and then added some padding so that the label containing the amount of coins is placed where it needs to be. I'm going to use this button to access the reward video. And if I watch the video, then I should be rewarded with 100 coins, which will appear in this label. We're now done with the design view, so let's move on to the block section. We can get and set the enabled property and reference the component name. We also have the ability to set whether this app is currently in test mode. This component also has seven events and two procedures. I highly recommend playing around with these events. You absolutely want to be able to reload the ad if it failed to load the first time. You might want to do something when the ad is opened. Maybe when the ad is closed, you show the user a notification message. First, I'm going to initialize the screen by loading an ad into the app and setting the test mode to true. But I'm going to temporarily disable this block just to make sure my live ad is actually working. And then I'll re-enable this block once I see the ad. Next, grab the button click event and show the reward video ad. If the user watches the video and doesn't close the ad, then I'll update the coin label with the current amount of coins the user has plus the reward amount that was specified in AdMob. Notice that we could also call the type variable that was specified in AdMob, so I could show a message that said you've received 100 coins. But for simplicity's sake, let's just update this coin label. Lastly, the Appy Builder help page for this component recommends to load another ad after the previous ad was closed. The ad should only show when the plus button has been clicked. We can now test the app and see what our reward video looks like. 
If you don't see a reward video and you just created a brand new AdMob account or a brand new ad, then it could take up to 48 hours for that ad unit ID to register. So it looks like I currently have zero coins and I want my free daily 100 coins. So I'll click on the plus icon on my coin bar. And awesome, my video ad pops up, cool. You'll notice I can adjust the ad volume. There's an option to download the app and I can also see the amount of time remaining before the video ends. If I close the ad before I finish the video, I receive no reward. This time I'm going to open another ad and watch the video until it's over. The ad finishes and I decided I didn't really like the app, so I'm just gonna close the reward video. But I still get my 100 coins, awesome. Now if I click on the plus icon, nothing happens. Remember that I put a cap on the amount of impressions a user can view per day. I only want my users to get 100 free coins once per day. So this is working as intended. I can always make changes to the impression cap back in AdMob, but those changes might take 24 hours to update. In the meantime, you can use the test rewarded video ad unit ID, which you should also be using during development. This test reward video is not linked to your AdMob account, so after watching a test video, you'll be rewarded with only 10 reward items instead of the 100 that we specified. That's just because the test reward video has its own settings. You can't change any of the test values, but it will still let you see how those values work. And we're done! Check out the Appy Builder community where you can discuss projects you're working on, stay up to date on current topics, and access tutorials created by community members. You can start building your own Android apps for free by visiting appybuilder.com, and you can also sign up for a free 30-day trial of Appy Builder's Gold Membership. Alrighty guys and gals, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, and have a great day. Bye!